Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Learning with Jelly. So today on our fourth module, we're going to talk about how you can bring data inside of Google Colab. Now, the previous video walked through how you can upload a Jupyter notebook inside of Google Colab, and now we're going to bring some data into Google Colab for our analysis. So our agenda for today is to briefly discuss data file types, and then we're going to demonstrate how we can bring that data inside of Google Colab. So data file types. So data file types can exist in a wide variety of formats. You can have comma separated files called .csv, Excel files, text files, generic data files such as .dat, PDF files, pickle files, and more. You're going to be able to upload any data file that you are working with into the content folder inside of Google Colab. Your data will disappear once the session ends. So if you exit out of Google Colab, anything of that nature, the data will go away. So you have to remember to upload the data every session. Also keep in mind, this is normally for learning and academic open source data. Please do not upload your company data or anything of that nature into Google Colab. Make sure that you are taking security and privacy seriously. So a demonstration on how we can do this. The link below in the description is going to have the GitHub link and where you can follow my notebooks as well as the data files that I'm going to be using. So for instance, in module two, if I were to click on this, I have a data folder and inside of that data folder is going to be a CSV file that you can utilize for your analysis. So I'm just going to bring that data into Google Colab. So I'm just going to Google search Google Colab and the link for Google Colab is going to be in the description below. And when I get here, I can upload a notebook or I can do a new notebook. I'm just going to click new no notebook for simplicity purposes. And here I get a new Python notebook for me to start my coding. So I'm gonna hit the folder on the left-hand side of the screen and I'm going to hit upload. And in this case, I am in my module two that I have cloned down from GitHub. Don't worry. You can use any CSV file that you find online, any data file, text file, or whatever that you want to practice uploading. In the next videos, I will show you how to actually access GitHub. So I'm going to double click on the data folder and hit students.csv. And I hit OK. And I see here that I have the file. And if I needed the file path, I can hit the three dots on the right-hand side, copy that path, and then paste it. And we're gonna need this file path in future lessons, okay? Alrighty, so that is how you can actually upload data inside Google Colab. Please like, comment, and subscribe to Learning with Jelly. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.